your queen denny and i know guys i know i've been like gone for so long for over a month now but i have no excuses just that i wanted to take a little break off just because it is really hard to film and edit but i'm back with a new video as you can tell by the title i am going to be showing you guys my christmas haul what i got for christmas so let's get right into this video. okay guys so before i get into all the stuff that um i got for christmas I just want to catch up with you guys a little bit. Um, first of all, I got braces. That was my that was one of my New Year's resolutions for this year. I wanted to get my teeth fixed, and I've been having them for I've been having braces for over two months or one month. Um, but yeah, also I cut my hair shorter just because I want to get rid of this blonde. I'm not a fan of it. If you guys didn't know i didn't want to dye my hair blonde i actually want to dye i actually wanted to dye it um like a light brown like a honey brown but the color but the color came off so i just left it blonde i kept dyeing it different colors but it yeah, kept, I kept dyeing it different colors but the blonde kept but the blonde kept coming back so i just decided to leave it like that and decided to cut it off naturally, you know, until all the blonde goes off way. But yeah, I mean, I look cute anyways. <sighs> Anyhow, anywho, um, what else do I have to tell you guys? Oh yes, for my Black Friday, I was filming a little bit, but I, but it was like a lot of work. I had a lot of orders, thank God. I did, my Black Friday was super, super, super successful. Um, I'm very thankful for every order that I got. Um, also, like two or three of my TikToks went viral on TikTok. So thank you guys. If you're here from TikTok, hey. But um, I just want to thank all of you guys. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank all of you guys for supporting my small business, especially through um, especially through these um, tough months that we're going through. Obviously, because of the pandemic, um, I am very grateful that... Um, I am very grateful that I have a small business and I'm getting orders and everything. Thank, thanks to you guys. I don't even have, um, I don't even, Yeah, if you guys didn't know, I did quit my last job. I was an assistant manager in, in a retail store, which I have no complaints about. I have no complaints about it. It was my favorite job. It was really fun and easy. Um, I was work. I was about to be two or three years. It was about to be two or three years that I started working there in December 10th. Um, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I had working there. It was pretty fun. I love all my co-workers. And I don't know if they watch my YouTube videos, but hey, I love y'all. <laughs> but it was a pretty fun job. Um, but I decided to quit just because um, the when I quit, it was because of the pandemic and I applied for my... Um, but I also quit. I don't. The only reason that I quit was because of the pandemic. That's when all of us went home, and I decided to apply for the unemployment thing, and I got in. They accepted me. So once they accepted me, um, that's when my uh, that's when the store manager texted me that we were going back to work, and I sadly had to tell I had to tell her that I decided to quit because you know. I got my unemployment and I felt like it was like, it was meant to be like God, God wanted me to quit. Um, obviously I was thinking about quitting as well, just because I felt like, um, I was stuck there that I wasn't going to move on with my life. If you guys didn't know, I also graduated in 2019 and that's when they, that's when they, after high school, that's when they made me. Yeah. After I graduated. After I graduated, that's when they decided to make me assistant manager. Um, obviously, I was thinking of studying to become a nurse, but at the end, I felt like it wasn't my thing. And ever since I was little, I decided to, I, I always wanted to be like a veterinarian assistant. Like I love animals with all my heart, like that's my passion. So I decided to get like a course and I decided to um, start a course on internet. Um, 
for veterinarian assistant. So um, I was doing that while I was working, but it was like, you can, you can go online whenever you want and do the course. You don't, they don't like force you to do it. It's like, if you want to, like they give you no teachers. They give you like, the, the only things that they provide you is like books, um, like everything is online. Like they give you books, um, they give you every Friday you have a test, but it's up to you when you want to pick up. Like, for example, you can start um, the online course today and like a month later you can, um, you can like a month later you can go back and do it. Like they don't force you to do it, you know? So I felt like I was getting a little bit lazy. I haven't, I haven't even finished it. And I, I've had that for like over a year. So I'm pretty lazy as you can tell. But uh, um, what else? So yeah, after I took, well, I'm still taking the course after that. Um, I feel like I was stuck working at my, at my job. So I feel it was like a perfect time for so, me. So yeah, I feel like it was a perfect time for me to quit. Um, and I was kind of sad because I, I was working there for a year, two years. I'm not sure. I think it was two years. It's two years. Um, and I asked the, what's it called? So I asked the district manager to give me a raise, but she wanted to change me to another store. And um, I really didn't like that store because it is like super, super, super ghetto. It's super ghetto and they rob a lot. Like my old manager, my old store manager went to that. They changed it to that store and she sent the, the video she sends me. <laughs> of the security camera where they rob where they oh my god it's just bad so, yeah it's very very bad i was like obviously you can tell i'm very tiny so i feel like over there um the customers they customers are not gonna take me seriously so um i was like kind of really scared to move to that store i was like mm -mm. I'm not go I'm not gonna risk my life for like a couple dollars more. No no no. So I told her no. So she didn't want to give me she didn't want to give me a raise unless I moved to that store, which obviously I was not gonna move over there. Um even at my store, um they robbed and I was scared. They even hit me once, but that's another story. If you guys wanna hear story time, let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I got hit. Oh, very chaotic so i decided not to and i felt like it was a perfect time for me to quit so i quit and that's when my so i felt like so anywho it ended up working for me because that's when my business started growing even more i started getting like the same the same amount of money that i used to earn working at my other job that's the same amount of money i got working at Coco Peter Jones collection obviously with the app uh, sorry <laughs> obviously with um I can make I was my own boss I can wake up at the time I wanted to I can um do the orders whenever I want to I can ship them out whenever I want to I don't have nobody over me stressing me out so I felt like it finally worked out for me so now I have like my vision is clear basically now i know what i want to do what i want to study and everything is working out as god so yeah everything started working out as god has a plan for me so um i feel like this is my calling i feel like um i am doing what i'm meant to do in this life so yeah i'm very very grateful for you guys i'm very grateful for oh, i don't want to cry <laughs> I feel like I'm very, very grateful for you guys. I had a little crying session. Sorry, I live in the ghetto. Ra -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> Anywho, um, yeah, I'm very, very grateful for, um, I'm very, very grateful that I have my own business and it provides for me and it provides for even more greater things that I have planned for me. I can't wait for you guys to um see what I have 
um i can't wait for you guys to see what i have planned i already bought it this is like the thing i've been praying for me for me and for my family uh, is what i have um in stores um yeah, i feel like i'm still not ready to show you guys just because um i am busy as you know i have my hispanic people here just because i feel like I'm much envidia in, in nuestra familia right now, so I don't want to speak on it. I don't want to show you guys yet until I am ready, until my family is ready to show you guys, because it's not only mine, but them, it's theirs as well. But it's one of the things I've been um, manifesting, um, and I finally got it. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to show. Um, I can't wait to bring you guys with me and enjoyed this little ride with me but yeah i just wanted oh, yeah, to guys i just wanted to catch i just wanted to catch up with you guys a little bit and for you guys to learn a little bit more about me because i feel like i only post about uh, my business and i want to show you guys more about me and my personality and everything if you guys are starting this uh a small business or whatever you want to accomplish in your life um I recommend to read like let me bring it wait guys so yeah guys so yeah guys if you're starting a small business or anything you want to accomplish in your life I just want to tell you right now that you can do it um, and I do recommend this book um, it's called the secret I don't know if you guys have um, read it or know what it's about but it's basically um, it tells you how to manifest anything that you want in your life um, how to accomplishment and i feel like this this book has been helping me um grow my small business obviously god as well i've been very i feel like i've been very 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 um spiritual um and i i've, I've noticed and i feel like other people have been as well and i don't know good vibes <laughs> But yeah, I definitely recommend this book 10 out of 10. I'm still not done. I definitely recommend this book 10 out of 10. I, I believe there's another book and it has like a white cover. Um, I'm definitely going to purchase that book after I'm done with this one. But I definitely recommend this book if you're starting out a business or you want to know more about manifesting. This book helps you out a lot. Um, but yeah, recommend it. I feel like I've been, I feel like after I read this book, um, I've been accomplishing more, um, more in life, everything that I put out there, it comes, it comes, um, it comes true. Um, I feel like this book has taught me to be like more thankful. Um, but yeah, recommend it. And now actually getting into this video the reason you guys are here okay so the very first first thing that i want to show you guys this belt from cavenders i've been wanting this belt it smells so good um i've been wanting this belt like oh my god look at it so beautiful and then the buckle Girl, yes. I've been wanting this belt for the longest. It's so cute. So my mother got me this. And you're going to see a little theme here. Um, the other thing that I got for my mom was... Well, my mom and dad was... Oh my, my mom favorite. gave me um, were these cowbell pants. Oh my god. So cute. I've been with you. I fell in love with these jeans for, from the moment I saw them. Girl, they're so cute. They were making fun of me because they look hippie, but I love them. The only bad thing about it, since I'm short, I'm like 5'2", um, they, they fit me pretty, pretty long. So I had, I had to like take them to a, um, I had to take it somewhere that, so they can fix it. Because, girl, they have to cut this much off of it. <laughs> but, yeah, I love them. So, moving on to the next item was my little brother. He gave me 
just letting you guys know everything they gave me every gift that i got is from cavenders i know i love cavenders so the other thing um my little brother gave me was this orange um texas shirt with nopales in it it's so cute uh yeah oh I, and i forgot to show you guys this my mom also gave me another pair of jeans and they're so cute they're bedazzled Ooh, mirala. Perra. and they're also these actually fit me these are pretty short as you can tell so yeah look i'm gonna show you the com i'm gonna show you how long these these are compared to the other ones so have this and then these are super short from the bottom so these, let me show you guys how long these are compared to the other pants my mom bought me. So I'm going to stand up so you guys can see. Oh no, you can't see it. Mm, sad. Probably like this. Ya ves? Like they're super long. So they have to um send them. I have to send them to somebody so they can fix it because they are super long. So the other thing that my mom gave me was this Ariana Grande perfume. And it smells so good, guys. When I tell you I love Ariana Grande with all my heart, girl. So that was basically all of my Christmas present. And my big brother, he actually gave me $40. But your homegirl already spent them. Um, <laughs> But this other gift, um, I gave it to myself because you gotta love yourself, you gotta um, spoil yourself, you gotta, you know, spend money on yourself. So obviously from Cavendish, no shame. Cavendish better sponsor me, I swear. Um, but as you guys can tell, I got me some boots! So cute! <laughs> Guys, look how cute these boots are. Ooh, and I got them um for a really good price. They were only um a hundred. They were about to be. Oh, here's the price. They were originally a hundred and thirty nine, but I in dollars. But they had like a discount, so I got it for a hundred and eleven or a hundred and one. I'm not sure, but they were a steal. And I needed new boots because I've been having the other. If you guys didn't know, I used to live in a ranch. So I used to live in a yeah, I used to live in un rancho, like in Houston, but like an hour away. Like I'm gonna um, I used to live in Anglinton. I don't know if you guys know where that place is, but it's like an hour away from Houston. But over there is only ranch. I'm um, put on rancho, so I used to live in a ranch in un rancho. So I had like a lot of boots, a lot of cowgirl boots. Um, it was normal over there in the other schools. So, but I wore those out. Like I've been, <laughs> I've been having. So yeah, I used to have four pair of boots, but two of them were already old, so I decided to throw them away. And the other two, they're already worn out um so because i've been having them since i was uh either nine or ten no like 10 11 and i'm already 20 if you guys didn't know i am 20 years old but um yeah they're pretty old so i decided that it was time to upgrade so now welcome my new babies okay so i decided to spoil myself at cavenders um but you guys want to know something funny? Once I moved over here to Houston, I was 13 years old. Um, and for me, it's normal to wear cowboy boots to school because over there in Abington, everybody used to wear boots to school. Um, so yeah, it's, it was like something normal for me to uh, like casually put on and go to school. But over here in Houston, the time I wear boots to school, um, everybody was giving me like weird looks. Like everybody was like judging me for wearing boots to school, and um, 
Um, yeah, the only times that I used to wear my boots to school over here in Houston's what over here in Houston was when um, we had um, Texans Day or Cowboy Day at school, or it, when it was time for the fair over here in Houston. That's the that was the only time like I wear my boots because if I wear them like in any like occasion, they will make they will like ask me why I'm wearing them if I was having a party after school. But yeah, so yeah, but that was only in middle school because in high school, um everybody started wearing whatever they want. And I saw a lot of girls wearing boots to school. So that was like kind of cool to see. Like mostly all of my friends used to wear in high school they used to wear um cowboy, cowboy boots. So yeah. But um, that was everything I got for Christmas. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I got for Christmas. I am very thankful for every gift that I got. And um, I'm especially thankful for my little small business because without it, I wouldn't be able to buy my um, family some Christmas presents. And obviously, I'm very thankful for you guys because without you guys, Coco Pinot Jones wouldn't be here. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and especially me opening up to you guys a little bit more so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure to comment down below. I Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!